Good day guys and welcome to today's shop club update. In today's video we're going to be talking about how the models are forecasting that we might be seeing Tropical Storm Julian form very soon. And also we're going to be talking about how we could be seeing the possibilities of hurricane cow farming in the Western Caribbean. All of that is going to be discussed in today's video, so make sure you guys stay tuned. So guys, I'd like to begin off today's video taking a look at Invest 92L. So here you could see this is Invest 92L and it currently is showing signs of organization. Now it should become Julia in the future eventually as we get down the road as it could be encounterable, um, encountering with very favorable weather conditions. So if we run the satellite IR, we could see that there is obviously some spin developing with Invest 92L as it enters a more favorable environment. As of now, the models are not going really bullish on development, but they are showing that we could be seeing a tropical storm form out of this but if you could take a look at this we could clearly see that there is some inflow developing moving from the west to the east and there is some inflow also developing moving generally from the east to the west so that means that there is a low level center trying to form in this to get more or less a more you know stable center of circulation so considering that we might be seeing something form out of this if we take a look at the latest spaghetti plots on this they aren't really impressive but they still are showing that we could be seeing development with this within the next couple of days so if i move this you know off of my screen which I will be moving it off very soon. Here, I would like to take a look at the intensity guidance with this. So we could clearly see that going back into you know the forecast with Invest 92L, the intensity guidance are showing that we could definitely be seeing an increase in the you know intensity within the next couple of days so going like around 168 hours out all of the models do conclude that we might be seeing a tropical storm by that point so we could be seeing this definitely intensify into a tropical storm by the time that point hits why the national hurricane center gives it a high chance of development so all of that we could be watching within the next couple of days now we're going to be taking a look at invest 91 l that's our main concern so guys here is the latest satellite image on invest 91 l as i said this one is our main concern so the sun just rose on this and it is showing signs of organization slowly so here you could see we're having more or less a more easterly flow which is developing with this which is causing you know some development in the thunderstorms activity if we notice around the center of circulation of this storm that's developing we see some very high cloud tops and that's what we would typically look for in tropical systems now yesterday this was getting affected by some very heavy wind shear but the wind shear pretty much died down and it is headed into a more favorable environment which could be promoting development so more likely you guys in the windward and leeward islands like if you live in trinidad and tobago i would advise that you begin to monitor this because you could be getting some squally weather definitely from it 
Now, in terms of the intensity of this, we should be seeing this develop, but this should develop in the long term. You can see the intensity guidance on this does show that we will be seeing a significant spike in its intensity by the time we get um, 108 hours out, we could be seeing a tropical storm or maybe even a hurricane by then. So models do go bullish on this. Some of them take it all the way up to category 4 hurricane status, which is not doubtable considering the environment that this could be headed into. So I will be showing that right now. So here you can see this is the spaghetti plots and the spaghetti plots are not really all over the place again they're pretty much concentrated in one specific area so i would advise that if you live anywhere between the yucatan peninsula um and nicaragua you need to be monitoring this because definitely the models have been really wobbly when it comes to the forecast with this so far they're not showing that this is going to curve up and go into the gulf which is a good thing obviously but we need to be tracking this and paying attention because some models do show that this might go into a major hurricane turn into a major hurricane by the time it reaches central america which could be the area that more than likely it will be making landfall on so those in central america I don't know if you know but more than likely you guys could be getting a landfall very soon from what could be Carl in the future. So speaking on the development of Carl, we are almost sure that it should be making landfall on Central America. Now this is a GEFS track and this is showing that we could be seeing a 989 millibar tropical system in front of the Belize that could be like around october 13 so it's beyond our five day range forecast so we're not really sure of what could be happening with this now models do show that some show that it could be taking more or less a more southern track now that southern track will result in a weaker system the farther to the south this goes the weaker it will be now if this pushes farther up um, no, more not let's just say it moves towards the yucatan peninsula and belize if it were to move in this area then more than likely you guys would be seeing a stronger storm than they would be in this area because it would have a more stable environment and it would have a more you know favorable atmosphere to interact with and more or less more time to develop now if it goes down there it will not develop due to the fact that it will have less time to develop and also it won't be going in the warmer water temperatures so here we go as we move on with our forecast we could see this is the ocean heat po potential content the content in the ocean to see how warm the water temperatures are and here you can see in the Caribbean, in the area that this could be headed into, as the GEFS track shows, it shows that it could be headed in that general direction. So if by any chance you live in the area like Belize, I would advise that you monitor this also because you guys could be in play for what could be Carl down the line. So the models have been pretty consistent on this so you guys should begin to monitor this and you know go over your hurricane preparation plans in Nicaragua, Honduras also you guys too you need to be monitoring this very closely. Now as of the latest HWARF model it has been pretty you know it has been kind of accurate because it is showing that we should be seeing a blow up in convection when it comes to invest 91L. So as we go out into the model forecast guys, we could see that eventually this move towards the leeward and windward islands like it interacts with Trinidad and Tobago and at that time it is generally 
um, you know, it's not, it's not organized really, but it is trying to get itself together. The farther we go into our forecast, we see that this travels into the Caribbean, and by that point, I would anticipate that this could be a tropical storm. Why am I saying that? It's because of how, you know, the quadrants are developing. You could see we have winds trending from the west to the east and we have this easterly flow that could be developing which means that of course the winds are moving from the east to the west trying to wrap around the low level center so at this point we may have a tropical depression or a tropical storm in the central caribbean just south of jamaica so we get further out into the forecast and by the way, this is the HRF model. If you want to know that, you could go and drop all the bits. And you see, we go further out into the forecast, and by the time that point, we should have a hurricane. Why am I saying that? You can see it's pretty much organized at that point. We have cloud tops touching negative 90, very high cloud tops, by the way. And some models do show that this could be something similar to what um, Eta and Iota was. You know, it takes that track towards Nicaragua and Honduras and take a northern turn towards Belize and the Yucatan Peninsula. Now, as of now, we're going to be looking at the National Hurricane Center's track and see how, you know, it could be influenced by what could be um, wind shear in its path. So here we are with the latest National Hurricane Center's um, forecast. They do have this up to a 40% chance of development, which means that we could be anticipating development with our tropical system. So you could see this could be tracking through the Caribbean, although I do think that the National Hurricane Center's track is too far to the south and this may be moving farther towards the north. Why I'm saying this is because the more faster this gains latitude is going to be determined on how farther north this tracks. So this could be off a little bit. Although I am forecasting and saying that this could be um, tracking farther towards the north than the National Hurricane Center's track is. So we do have recon that's scheduled to fly into this um, later today. So we will more or less have more information on how strong this is. And the models will be having a better time depicting on how strong this could be now looking at the sea surface temperatures in general in the caribbean if this were to rapidly intensify i would not say that it's gonna but if it's if it were to conditions would basically be promoting it i would not i'm not going to lie i'm not going to exaggerate my forecast conditions are definitely going to be promoting it because if you notice the water temperatures, the sea surface temperatures are about 30 degrees Celsius in the Caribbean, which is well above 85 degrees Celsius. So that means that definitely if this were to rapidly intensify, we would be seeing this happen when it reaches into the western caribbean and as i said the farther towards the north this tracks the more stronger it's going to be and the farther towards the south the weaker it's going to be why because it's going to have more land interaction with um with colombia i'm not sure northern colombia i'm not sure what area that is but it could be having more interaction with that area now if it takes a further northern track then it's not going to be interacting with those areas and it's going to be encountering more favorable water temperatures so more than likely it could be doing something like that i'm thinking if it gains latitude quicker now showing what the gfs model has been showing for a couple of days now it's showing that we could be seeing a major hurricane making landfall on the yucatan peninsula and police now as i said 
the GFS is showing that this could be gaining latitude quicker than other models are. So the GFS could be onto something here and it may also not be onto something. If we look at the winch here, I'm going to open up my email because I think I emailed that, that to me. Right now, guys, give me a second. No, that, yes, the reason why I'm showing this also is because Hurricane Felix, it could be taking a very similar track to Hurricane Felix in 2007. So, if this does take that track, I'm not saying that it's gonna, if it does, it could be more or less developing into something larger. Now, um, here we are with our wind shear forecast. It is showing that you notice throughout the Caribbean how the wind shear is pretty much low. Almost no wind shear in the Caribbean, so it could be, um, you know, more or less not battling with the wind shear. Now, wind shear is very low, so it could be encountering more favorable weather conditions. So there could be an upper level trough that could be building high pressure in the Caribbean which is going to more or less make the conditions more favorable. So if that builds up there then we could be seeing a more stronger storm due to the fact that there is going to be less wind shear. So none of that is doubtable at all. Guys, I'm going to keep you updated and thank you for watching today's forecast.